guys, my name's Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the new body 2019 and up Ram truck. So a lot of you have realized when you bought your truck that it does not come with satellite radio. So a lot of the big three manufacturers are actually getting rid of factory satellite radio to save money. However, we here at infotainment.com had the solutions to add satellite radio to pretty much any domestic vehicle um, all the way back to 2007. So today I'm going to show you guys for the Ram specifically, 2019 and up, how to add factory satellite radio to your vehicle. You're not using tuners dangling behind your, your radio. You're not plugging into your aux port or your USB. This is 100% factory. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace. This is called the UAA option code radio. This radio comes with satellite radio and without. So a lot of the, the vehicles that they built, come they don't come with it. This one does come with it. So I'm going to show you guys how to take this one out and install this one. And then lastly, we have to install an antenna. So you really have two different options when it comes to an antenna. Uh, we have an aftermarket option, which you could put this on anywhere on the exterior of the vehicle, route it into the cab, and then plug it in the back of the radio with this connector here. You know it's got satellite radio because it has the curry mustard color FACRA connector. So um, you do have the option to do this. This is a little bit cheaper. It is a great quality aftermarket antenna, about the only one we would recommend. Or if you want to keep it factory, just replace the shark fin antenna in the back of your, of your cab. It's in the back of the cab for the 1500s in the front of the cab for the heavy duties. Just swap this out and plug it in and you'll have satellite radio right here in your vehicle. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with replacing the radio. Now in this particular video, we're just gonna replace it with just the simple UAA system with embedded satellite radio. This is the cheapest option. However, now would be a great time to upgrade to the 8.4 inch UAM option code, which has built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Or you could even get real fancy and go with the big 12-inch system, which we also carry at infotainment.com. Nevertheless, we are just going to retain. We're just going to keep the UAA option code. Um, so I'm going to show you guys real quick how to replace it. There's two screws up here. If you have the little liner up here, just remove the liner. And there's two Phillips head screws there. Just go ahead and, and remove those two. And this whole instrument panel, actually, after you do that, just pops right out. You just gotta grab a hold of it and pop it out. You can use a pry tool and work your way around the perimeter, but it works just as easy just to pop it out. Now, once you do that, you just got to disconnect all the connectors on the back side. It'd be hard for the camera to see, but basically all these connectors back there, we're just gonna go ahead and disconnect them. All right, so what we're gonna do now that we have that all disconnected is we're gonna take off this bracket that's behind the radio. It's just held in with two Phillips head screws on the bottom. So go ahead and do that. The bracket just comes out. Now the only other thing that's holding this radio to the bezel and the instrument panel is two more screws at the top part of the radio. Then it just comes right out. Now we're gonna install the new radio into the exact same location, just in reverse. We're gonna put the two screws back in at the top. The bracket has a little uh, notch right here which goes into the top of the instrument panel. So just make sure you feed it in that way and it all lines up and then you can put in your other two screws. We're now ready to install back in the dash. Now in this particular video, what we're doing is we're installing the factory shark fin antenna in the back of the vehicle. Now, um, in order to utilize the wiring that's already pre-wired, we're going to install this little converter into the blue connector. I'll explain later what this is going to do, 
but basically this is going to retain the wiring that's currently going to the shark fin and antenna into the back and this will allow us to get satellite radio so we're going to plug this into the yellow fact report on the back of the new radio All right, the next step we're gonna do in order to gain access to the shark fin antenna that's currently on the back of your truck, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove some screws in the headliner. So on this hook here, there's a Torx T20. Peel this back, this little cover, there's a Torx T20 screw there and a Torx T20 screw underneath this. This pops right out. So there's three on this side and three on the passenger side. We're going to remove all those screws and then we'll be able to pull the headliner down to get access to the antenna. All right, what you'll notice once you pull the headliner down is this little 10 millimeter screw right here. This is your existing GPS antenna. So basically, we're just gonna remove and replace this antenna. So take out this screw, disconnect the white and the curry color connectors, FACRA connectors, and this will all just pull through. And then we'll put our new antenna in. We're gonna plug our white to white, and we're gonna plug our teal color into the curry color. So we'll do that now. So there's the, there are these little tabs here on both sides. Once you squeeze those in, you can pull it right out. So now we can set that aside. We can install our other antenna. First, we're gonna take off the screw and the little lock. We're gonna feed it in into the exact same position. We're gonna lock it in and install the, the clamp and the screw underneath. All right, you notice here that the little um, clamp can only go on one way. And then basically once it's in like this, all we have to do is just tighten this 10 millimeter screw. You'll notice once it's nice and snug and tight that it's not going anywhere. Now, we're gonna plug the white into the white and then the curry color into our teal. All right, we've tested the new antenna. It's nice and snug here on the roof. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to reattach the screws into the headliner just the way we took it out.
All right, now that we have the antenna installed, let's go ahead and fire up the truck and check it out. So now you'll notice an SXM icon here in the lower corner. So if you press that, you now notice you have the SXM icon. You now have 100% factory RAM satellite radio in your truck, just like it would be from the factory. Great upgrade here. Very easy to install, as you can see. We can not only do this for this particular radio, but again, the other radios as well. We do this and so much more here at infotainment.com. We specialize in factory OEM upgrades for all the big three manufacturers, all the trucks, sports cars, SUVs, the big three. We also do Toyota and Nissan now. So we offer a whole wide array of different things, uh, not just for the Ram, but all the others as well. Some in particular, we did a cluster upgrade plug and play. We can do almost any radio, or we can do all the radios rather, the factory radio upgrades. We can do blind spot monitoring upgrades, factory, power folding mirrors, new headlights, park assist. There are so many different things we can do. So come check us out on our website, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.